Hey guys, it's Mel, and I wanted to bring you guys an update on how my no spending challenge is going. So since I got back from Costa Rica, um, I came back to a part-time position, and I decided this would be a great opportunity to re-evaluate my finances and see what I can get by on and see how it goes with not purchasing anything. So the main criteria is that I'm not necessarily spending no money, I'm just not spending money on unnecessary items. So clothing, unnecessary beauty products, um, things that I don't really need. But that does not necessarily include things such as moisturizers or things I use on a daily basis that I might not run out on. So this is actually month two of my six month challenge. Um, my first month I did on my phone because my husband took the computer while he's away on work. And when I uploaded it, it went to another channel that I don't use. So if you want to see how my one month went, which I think was actually better than this month, um, I will put a link to it below in the description box. At least I'm going to try. And you can kind of see how that one went. So I was looking over my credit card statement and I have some items with me that I did purchase because I did end up purchasing more than I would on a normal occasion. Um, for different circumstances, like there was a Goodwill sale and they're at Yonkers and I always get um, the bronzer there and you can get a discount, but it's only during this sale. Otherwise, it's the same price all year round. So I took advantage of that because I use it all year round. Um, in total, I spent $262 on non-food items. So $260 is what I spent. Um, that's phone, beauty, and going out. I spent $30 on Zen, which I decided not to put down as extras because I do have to pay for it every month for work so I can remain uh, Zumba certified. Um, but some of the breakdowns that I have are, I'll go with some of my beauty and some things that are not um, everyday purchases like food. Food I decided not to count. Maybe one of these times I will kind of show you what I spend on food on a regular basis. basis. Um, but this time, one of my bigger uh, ex expenses were, um, I spent $45 on my facial moisturizer. And I know that's kind of expensive and I get it at uh, my estheticians and I just really like it and I wanna research some other products. But for now I had $10 off from back from my birthday and I wanted to use that and they let me use it on the last day I could use it. It's called um, Revision. It's in Telashade, and it's matte because I do have oily skin. It's got SPF 45. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer. Uh, it has anti-aging properties. Um, but I like it because I actually mix it, mix it with a serum, and I make it even lighter. I like to just put it on as an overall, just it adds a little bit of a tint, not very much. You won't even be able to tell. But it's kind of expensive, but um, normally it's like $55. So I had $10 off for my birthday, and this will last me a really long time. So I got that. Um, the other thing that was even more expensive, um, I went to Yonkers and they had their Goodwill sale. And I've been getting this stuff forever. I spent about $64 on the Intense Bronze Self-Tanning Tint. Um, I've just been getting it for years. It's water-based. So I started getting it when um, I had my cystic acne and my skin was really bad. And I didn't want to put a lotion or an oil or anything on my skin. So this is um, very watery, very thin. You put it on with a... Um, cotton ball, people always ask me, have, have I been tanning? Um, and it's usually the day after I put this on. So I actually got two of these, and this is with the 15%, so each of them were about $32. But truthfully, this stuff will last me the rest of the year. I got two bottles of it. Um, I still have one bottle, but this will get me through summer, and the other one will probably get me through fall. So I figured, you know, even though I don't need them this very second, these ones will last me, and I always use them, and I always go back to bed. The other thing that I ended up purchasing was a Neutrogena Naturals Acne Spot Treatment. I think this was like maybe five or six bucks. Um, again, I, I don't get acne anymore, but I still get the occasional spot. And I don't use this as a preventative mechanism. I use my healthy eating um, and lifestyle choices as a preventative mechanism. And, hope, and this will use as a spot treatment on those um, more surface spots that I get because I do work out and I train people in between and I can't wash 
as regularly as I would like to, and sometimes I get some pimples up here and just little spots. So I got this, and it's natural, so it's um, you know, it's just a little bit better for your skin. It doesn't have as many ingredients on it in it. So purchased that, and the one other thing that I purchased, which is nothing fa fancy, it's just a makeup remover, oil free, because I don't like to put oil on my eyes. Um, Rimmel. And I think this is five bucks. Oh, that Neutrogena stuff was eight bucks. Sorry, I was looking at the makeup remover. Eight bucks. It's more expensive than the other stuff. But if you go right now, um, there's a dollar off coupon. And then this is just five dollars. So that was my makeup stuff that I spent money on. Again, a little bit more than I normally would. But I had a discount for my birthday. I had the Goodwill sale. And those are things I always purchase. So I always stock back up. Because I know I'm going to use them once I find something I really like. Um, going out. So I spent maybe 10, 12 bucks. Um, I had a, purchased one drink for a co-worker's going away party. And then me and my son went um, to Starbucks and had a little after school date. So that was that money. And then again, I spent about $135 on my phone bill, which I have not given up yet, but I've come to terms with right now. I am using it, so I'm gonna keep getting that. And, oh. Protein powder. I put this under food, but I did want to point out that I spent a lot of money on protein powder, um, about $62. I got some small ones because they didn't have a large one, and then they called me, and then they got the large thing. So I get um, a raw protein powder. It's actually a raw meal. It's not even a protein powder. The meal is cheaper, and I really like the chocolate flavor of this. It's a rice protein, but it's actually not a protein powder that I get, I realized. Um, it's just the raw meal, and I put like a, a I guess it'd be a fourth of a serving into my smoothies, um, and so I got a whole bunch of big ones, and I share those with my husband and my son, so we all consume the raw protein powder or meal replacement, um, and I get that at um, Bay Naturals Pharmacy, uh, and that is, and then the rest of the money that I spent was at Walmart and Woodman's and that was going to be on different food items so I go to Woodman's and in Walmart probably three times a week to stock up on things like fresh fruit, um, organic uh, spring mix, bananas, avocados, dates, uh, strawberries, raspberries, all of those things. So that's what else I purchased. So that is my list. So I had $262, including my phone, which was $135, my beauty products, which probably came to about $120 this month, and then um, going out. And so that was it. And again, if you want to see what I spent last month on my no spending challenge, uh, check out the description below, and I'll put a link to it that I did from my phone. And... Hopefully, um, I can keep this up. I'm not disappointed. Again, these are things that I'm using every every day. I didn't spend any money on clothing. I did sell my iPod um, on Craigslist, so I have $120 to play with that I was going to use towards a new blender, which I haven't used. I also have another gift card for $50 bucks that I haven't used yet. I have a gift card to Gap. Um, so I have, I have some money to play with, and I haven't used it yet because I'm trying to be very mindful. So, so far, so good. Um, next update will be soon enough um, on my hair again have it up because I don't want to deal with it so but I will update you guys on that and I'm also reading a new book by the author and dr. Neil um, Bernard he's uh, one of these revolutionary guys talking about the plant-based diet he has a book about um, reversing diabetes and this is his 21 day diet kickstart and it's not for me being on a diet but I just kind of want to see what he has to say on the subject and if you are looking to go on a diet it might be an interesting book so I'll do a review on that later then too all right guys I'm off to work and I will uh see you later